Mama Cherry Channel. It is showtime! <laughs> Hi guys, this is me, Mama Cherry. Yes, I'm that quiet, <laughs> you know, that really quiet, restraining, not restraining, reserved. What's that? reserved. <laughs> I'm so reserved. I read a comment the other day that said, I wish more people could look at you. They probably changed their attitude about black women. If oh, they no, I saw that one too. I was like, okay then. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure their but heart was, was in the right place. It was positive because he said... They're b bitter women. I was like... Because oh, he was talking oh, about... He said, because oh. then they would stop thinking about black women as being bitter. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, well, you know, we ain't all bitter. We happy. Uh, but, you know... I, hey, I understand what the commentary got, was getting at. I knew what he was getting at. It did make me clutch my pearls a bit. It did. It did. And I thought... I was like... Oh. I just went, oh, bless. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we are all individuals. We are all different. We are not a monolith. We are not just a stereotype. <laughs> Nobody is. No one is. Everybody's different in their own way. So before I get started with this video, because I'm feel I can feel like I'm about ready to preach. So I need to stop. So I want you guys to do something. Before you get settled into this video, because you will get settled, because it's definitely going to be worth it. Please remember, boom, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you ain't going to never miss waking up to the mama. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so, look here on the table. You can see. Anybody right, can tell me what those see. are? Who knows what this is? That's an onion. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is called pearl barley. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It is, Mom. <laughs> Questioning myself. You got it right. It definitely it is. is called pearl barley. And what I've done is I have cooked this. I got it in um, dry. It cooks so quick. <coughs> so how do you cook it? It is so quick. I did it in a pressure cooker. Okay. But you can do it on top of the stove. It takes you about half an hour top to, to cook it. boil it. To boil it. Just boil it. Add some seasoning, some onions, and just boil it. It's delicious. Okay, I've got a question. And then you're gonna, what so, you're going to do is add more stuff to it. When you boil it, though, does it absorb all the water? Yes, it okay, does. It so takes on. Or it's like rice. Okay. So it absorbs. You know it's ready when it takes in all of that. So you milk. cook it like you would cook rice? Just like rice. Okay, just because some people might go, yeah. well, great, but how do I cook it? So, in this big pot, I'm going to add some olive oil because as you can see here, look in there, we have some onions, some courgettes, some cauliflower, some broccoli, some mixed peppers, and some diced carrots. And all of this veg is going to be fried up together and with some coriander and then mixed in with this. So it's going to be a luscious, luscious vegetable delight. Okay, so first thing first, we got, I've got some oil on and I'm going to season my pot with my love dust. Love dust, baby. baby yeah, yo. Ow! <laughs> Which is available to purchase from our website. So, have a look at that. It's just hand blended Cajun seasoning. Okay. So to that, let's bring over. We're gonna first thing we're gonna add in gonna be the onions, the carrots, and the peppers. Now I have parboiled and just blanched slightly the um, broccoli and the uh, cauliflower. So let's just get those in. Don't be sticking your hand in the pot like me, people. Please don't. Now let me show you what I mean. Look here. Because I seasoned that pot, can you see how it's taken on? Mm -hmm. Lovely. So let's get that back. of colors. Yep, let's get that back on there. And I'm going to add, also I'm going to add the courgettes. Let's just add the courgettes at this point. The only thing I'm not adding is the broccoli and the cauliflower. That's going to go in in the very, very last minute. Mom. What? Hand. Take your hand out of that pot. If you got it, you got it. Oh, my God. All right. So, I'm going to just chop up. Woo! Chop up some, um, call it, um, some coriander. Cilantro, for those of you across the pond. Yep. You could use parsley if you want. If you don't like, if you find the coriander is too strong or aromatic, but that's what I like. I'll take this, throw that in there. 
right now all of this is going to go into the oven okay and it's just got, it's just to kind of heat it and to blend those flavors through but we want to soften it up here first now I'm going to add just a touch of water just to steam that and um, let's put some chili flakes in garlic. I'm going to show how much water you put in. Really hardly any. Much. Hardly any. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Can okay. you see that? Yeah, yeah. Hardly any. Okay, so. Now. You take that. I've got a glove here because I'm going to mix it up. And this is really good as a side. This is a great alternative to rice. Yeah, or potatoes. Or potatoes. Look at that. Nice. Okay. So can I ask, when you cook yeah. some whole barley, what mm -hmm. did you season it with? I seasoned it with garlic, onions, and my love dust, and okay. salt and pepper. Okay. That's it. So now, let's add the rest of our veg. Now, this could also be great as a cold salad. Mm, I was just thinking. Just that. like this, I could take this right now, and... I could put it into a salad. Actually, I'm going to be making something very similar. My goddaughter is getting married this summer. She's a vegan. This is a perfect, perfect for a vegan. Mm -hmm. It's got everything in it. Everything you need. And I'm going to be doing this as a salad for her. Just dress it with some lemon juice, um, olive oil, balsamic. It would be perfect. Yeah, it would be yummy. Okay, so that is, hold up, oh god this is good. It smells lovely. And you know what? What? Because this is actually going for my food bank, I'm not even going to put this in the oven. I was just thinking. Because I I, it doesn't it. need it. Everything is already cooked. And it's going to And I love that, that crunchiness of the vegetables. I'm just going to add a touch more seasoning to yeah. it. And I think I am going to add some lemon, fresh lemon juice to keep it. Mm. So I think it should be a cold yeah. salad. Actually. So it's going to be done as, and this is going to be served with their butternut squash. Yeah, no, it's delicious. So the thing is, themselves. this is something you could heat and eat, mm. or just eat, eat and <laughs> eat. Okay, so let me just go get some. I'll get you a lemon. Get me a, oh, right there in the on the door. I think I've got my lemon sprayer. Yeah, you do. Okay, guys, you look at this. You like my little contraption? I love it. It's a fresh, look at this. It sprays lemon juice. Just give it a squirt. Oh, that's taking too long. Yes, crazy. So let me just squeeze, get, lemon. <laughs> squeeze this lemon in here. Lovely. Oh god, can you smell that? Yeah, Katrina? it's amazing. It smells great. Oh, the freshness of it all. Okay, okay so I think we're done. I think we're done. And actually, what I'm going to do is, can you go over and get me one of the um, containers, and I'll show you how it's going to look okay, with so the butternut watch. squash. This is my roasted butternut squash. Lovely. What a lovely vegan meal. That is vegan, isn't That's it? That's vegan. The whole thing is a vegan meal. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Okay. So, with a little bit of peace, whole lot of soul, and love from the mama.
Goodbye. Enjoy. Don't stick your hand in any hot water. I got cooked fingers. I'm used to this kind of stuff, okay? Use a spoon.